Happy holidays and welcome back to Smile by Holly. And I'm Holly. Hi everybody, it's nice to have you here. And today we are continuing on with my series of quick and easy last minute gift ideas. And so today we're going to be making these easy little lip balm holders. Um, how fast, how easy, you know, for those last minute gifts, if you've got an, some neighbors that you need to make some gifts for or some coworkers, um, just friends or even some stocking stuffers, this is just the ticket. So anyway, this is what we'll be making today. I'm so excited to show you just how fast and simple these come together. So go ahead and grab yourself a piece of cardstock that is seven and a fourth by five. Okay, once again, seven and a fourth by five. Okay, so bring your paper in and on the seven and a fourth side, you want to score at two and a fourth, at four and a half, at five and a fourth, at six, and at six and three fourths. Okay, now go ahead and flip your paper to the five inch side and you want to score at three eighths. At one and an eighth. At three and seven eighths. and at four and five eighths. Okay, we're done with the scoreboard. Now, let me just kind of bring in an example. I made this up in hopes that this would make it a little bit easier for you to see. You know, sometimes when I'm trying to show you score lines, it is difficult to see those score lines. So this is exactly what we have with the score lines. And everywhere where I have an X, we are going to cut those out. So let's go ahead and get started and we'll kind of use this as our template and I hope that helps. Cause like I say, sometimes it's so hard to see these score lines. So I'm going to start and I'm going to cut out these four little squares. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, okay. Okay, one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four. Okay, so can you see what we have? We've cut out those four squares right here and then those four squares, okay? Now we're going to cut out this square, this square, and this square, okay? Now this, this square, we're actually not, we're going to round it. So let me first show you. Let's cut out these two bottom squares and we'll just kind of do this nice and slow together. So if you have any questions, you know, we won't get too far ahead. So I'm just cutting out. Okay, did you see we cut out these two squares right here, which were right there? Now we're gonna cut out this square right here, okay? So we're gonna cut out this little square. And I'm just kind of doing it one square at a time, so um, hopefully I don't lose you. Okay, so we've cut out this square right here. Now we're going to cut up on this slit right here. That's gonna help us so that our box folds. So kind of watch as we do these. On these slits, we're going to cut up on all of our slits, okay? Do you see how that is right there? Let's do it on the other side. Cut up on all of those slits. So there's one, two, and three. Okay, do you see that? Those slits we've just cut right up. Okay. Now, on this part, we're going to round these corners. Now, if you have a corner rounder, you can use that. 
I am just going to eyeball it. This is going to make our little tab that tucks in. So like I say, if you want to use a corner rounder, that's fine. I just kind of eyeballed it. And that's on the large piece that is sticking up. And it doesn't have to be perfect, but do you kind of see what I'm saying? Okay, now on this part right here, we are just going to cut about half of that off. Do you see how I have little squiggly lines right here? We just want to cut about half of it off. Don't have to measure, just eyeball it. We're just getting rid of some of that bulk. So about half of it. Okay, so now those little squares are shorter. Okay, now we're going to cut out these very bottom squares. Okay, once again, I could have done it all together, but I'm trying to uh, not lose you in the process. Okay, so this is what we're looking like. Now this little one, we're just going to cut a little section off like we did up here at the top. Just about half, okay? You don't have to be exact, but just kind of line it up to how we did this one, okay? So just cut about half of it off. We're just trying to get rid of some of that bulk. Okay, now, does this make sense? I hope I didn't lose you, um, but these are gonna fold in. Fold those in, fold that in, fold that in. Okay, so there is our cutout box. So what we're going to do is we're going to end up folding our box over, but first, Let's add some adhesive on to this so we have a nice finished cover, okay? I'm gonna add a little bit of tape here and just fold that over. Now watch how this comes together. So we've got some adhesive onto this little tab right here and this is just going to fold over. We're going to line up that tab just with the edge of that box and then fold it over. I'm gonna take my bone folder and just kind of push it down in there. Just gonna grab my fingers and just kind of push in there. So now we have these edges right here. Those will fold in. Those are the two little pieces that we just cut down. And then our little tiny piece that we curved the end. Look how perfect that works. So then over here, we've got our two little pieces that we cut down. They fold over. And then our little rounded piece just folds in so nicely. And there is our cute little box. So let me grab some lip balm here and let's pop it into our box and open that up, open up those two sides. That just fits down in there. I mean, the size is just perfect for lip balm. Now, if you're looking for a good deal on lip balm, you can get, sometimes you can get two for a dollar lip balms at the Dollar Tree. So check that out. Or, you know, if you want to spend a little bit more, who doesn't love Burt's Bees? Um, lip balm. So wonderful. So there is your cute base. Now you have the fun part of just decorating it. I'm just going to bring some stickers in and see what we want to do. I really like that truck there. Oh, that's really cute. I'm going to add that little Christmas truck there. Oh my gosh, I love Christmas trucks anyway. I think we need like a little saying. Let's see, this may be too long, but I'm not sure, let's see. Oh no, I think it's cute. So we have season's greeting and then that little truck. So let's bring in all of our boxes and there you go. So what do you think? You know, I hope I didn't lose you on the making of this. You know, there's a lot of different cuts when you're trying to do this, so if you need to, go back, rewind the video, and just kind of follow where my X's are. I hope that helped. But look how fun. So my goal 
is to just give you a couple of like really quick and easy things to make for your last minute gift giving. Great ideas. So thank you so much for joining me. It was great to have you here. You know, if you like the video, give me a big thumbs up. I would also love to have you subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for more last minute gift ideas. Have a great day guys. Bye-bye.